Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse. Today, Tuesday, August 23rd, 2022. Um, we're going to focus today on drugs. That's correct. Uh, big scale and street level. Uh, yesterday evening, and we wrote it up, Lawrence Dowd, the former CEO of the Rochester Co-op, convicted by a jury of drug dealing, opiates, uh, not caring at all what happened to communities, convicted and facing sentencing, has said that he wants a non-incarceratory sentence. He shouldn't go to jail. In any event, he should be left free on bail pending appeal. Meanwhile, in the magistrate's court, which we went to cover, a guilty plea by a man named Castro uh, to street-level dealing of, uh, well, in any case, to fentanyl. And uh, sentencing guidelines, 87 to 108 months. And that's even with the safety valve. Without it, it would be higher. Now, what sense does it make? And what's going to happen on Mr. Dowd's request for the sentencing? It'll be done by Judge George Daniels, and we'll be there. Um, he, that plea took place in the magistrate's court because the, Mr. Castro has his case before Judge Gardefee, who these days is presiding over a bench trial of Mayaguez, the Colombian sugar producer, against Citibank for ripping them off wildly on hedging. We went and covered it yesterday, and we wrote a second, and, and, and it's what's going to be a series of stories. It's Quinn Emanuel. Full disclosure, they wrote to the UN trying to get inner city press at least a hearing to get back in. No answer by Melissa Fleming versus Sherman and Sterling. It's a slugfest. EDNY, a rare victory. And, and the, end of an, uh, the, uh, the beginning of a new season, let's put it that way. Uh, Defendant Jackson, um, we sought to unseal the sentencing video. They wanted it sealed. Not only has it been unsealed, but we've put it on YouTube and you can find it. Queensbridge Special. Sadly, we must turn to the United Nations. An absolute failure. Uh, we're going to focus today on human rights. Sudan is about to join, without any opposition, the Human Rights Council of the United Nations. Michelle Bachelet, the Human Rights Commissioner, who bowed down to China when she went and said she couldn't find any problems in Xinjiang, is about to retire. And a fish rots from the head. Antonio Guterres has concealed his links to the China Energy Fund Committee and banned inner city press. Thus, back to the Quinn Emanuel letter. It remains pending and it must be answered. To be continued.